him. I don't think he tells no. him. No. So I don't think he knows. But I. But he knows that sh- there's a someone yeah. who is she, listening to their voices and yeah. with them for a certain amount of time. And so like, uh, there's that scene where he shows up when they're engaging in lunch. Mm-hmm. And he shows up. And you're like, Brilliant. oh, you know, and so like, it's meant to be played off. I sort of like, oh, I saw your car, and and then like, and then when they meet up later, Ben Affleck's like, who are you following? You know, me or her? Yeah. And so you get the idea that maybe this isn't the first time that Jeremy Renner has like followed someone that that like that 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 uh was a rip was a witness on their bank robbery. Mm-hmm. Maybe Jeremy Renner is following Ben Affleck for some unknown reasons, you know, and, you know, it it, it, it comes back to those, like, small details that, mm-hmm. like, really help make this movie what it is, you know. And the the, uh, the sound design in this and sound editing is amazing. Like, you know, when those guns go off and those cars noise. smash into yeah. each other, those glass shatter, like, you really feel it, you know. You know, it feels like you're actually there We're witnessing the bank robbery, you know. I really like the whole um, how they really uh, force you that that Boston, um, not the accent, but the the attitude. Yeah. When uh, the FBI shows up, like ah, oh, get the, get the fuck out of here! Like this is uh, this is Boston PD. He's like, oh fuck off! Yeah. Yeah. You know we got jurisdiction here. Yeah, and there's and, that friction between them. And yeah, the whole yeah. time, and they do that in um, Departed. Uh, Departed. They do it in uh, Patriots Day. Oh, yeah, Mark yeah, Wahlberg, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. where the there's a couple of uh, police officers with the FBI guys who are you know hunting down those guys, and they do the same thing. They're like, oh, like you need to go, uh, you need to leave the roof. Uh, this is a federal jurisdiction now, and the police officer, uh, a police woman, she's all, oh, fuck off. I was here first. This is in my roof. <laughs> and, oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. She's like, I'll be, I'll stay here. You guys can go. <laughs> and uh, I, that's I, I love how they introduce or they they. They maintain that attitude, you know, yeah. um, and, and I'm assuming that's how it is a lot over there. Probably. Yeah. I've never been over there. i got family over there, but I've never been there. I would definitely say, yeah, go check out uh, Patriot's Day. I feel like that's a super underrated film. The movie's yeah. awesome. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. It's a good movie. Um, there's another scene that I love in this movie, and it's one of the tenth scenes, if not the... If, uh, it's one of the tenth scenes that I saw that year, and it's the scene where John Hamm, it, where... Uh, they just pulled the bank heist at the stadium, oh. and Jeremy Renner is walking away in the cop uniform, and John yeah. Hamm is tailing him. And John Hamm is calling out, Officer, Officer Coughlin, and then Jeremy Renner turns around with the M16 or whatever it is and fires at him. And yeah. then there's that great bit of him firing um, John around, Hamm. Yeah. Chasing him? Yeah. Chasing him around the, the car. And it's such a tense moment, and you so feel close, it, and you can see yeah, the ricochet. It's so close, and like one false move on. On like either half, and 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 one of them's dead. Like one false move on Jeremy Ren- on Jeremy Renner's uh, part, and he's dead. One false move on John Hamm's part, he's yeah. dead. And it's just great tense moment of like crazy showdown. Yeah, because yeah, you're like, oh shit, oh shit. Yeah, of them the trying to, of them trying to outmaneuver each other and outsmart each other. And that bit where at the end, where Jeremy Renner's character is like about to get killed, and he's behind that mailbox mm-hmm. and there's that drink lying on the floor and he just picks it up and, and he takes that's his drink. last drink and it's he knows. such a great little moment you know like I, like I don't know if that was written in the script or if that was improvised on Jeremy Renner's part but like either way it's a great bit and, yeah. and it says so much about his character and the, the how like even in the face of death he he stops and takes time to go out and, and drink you know a, some random soda that that uh, fell on the street, you know, um, it just it just feeds into like his idea of him being careless and stuff like that. Impulsive, yeah, impulsive and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a great uh, bit. I wanted to go back to uh, his relationship with Blake Lively's character. We obviously we can tell that she's supposed to be kind of a trash head. Yeah, you know, uh, kind of you know goes with whoever, yeah. not really picky, um, and. There's a, in the very beginning when they're trying, they're kind of giving you a sense of these characters, and they, they, uh, they have intercourse. But their scene feels very, like, forced and makes it makes you feel kind of it's almost like gross. Yeah, you know. And then later on, um, you he sleeps with. Uh, 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 Rebecca Hall, Hall yeah. character, and that feels very like uh, they yeah, have. It's yeah. not very close. Mm-hmm. And it's very intimate, and yeah, and, they're, they're and they have like a real co- a yeah. connection. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, I really, really like that because it kind of symbolizes his um, that he really, really has fallen in love well, with uh, yeah. with this woman. And not to mention, he gives her the uh, you know the diamond the necklace, necklace yeah. and stuff. 
and there's little things when people anybody says anything about uh, like they say a, a bad thing about um, like his mother yeah. or uh, or you know or his love interest he goes off you know what I mean maybe not uh, he, but he's calculated when he goes off mm-hmm. yeah. like a you know there's this great bit where what's what's the florist's name Fergie uh, yeah Fergie yeah 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 the, he he um, he goes to Fergie who's basically the uh, the kind of kingpin of the heist of Charlestown because mm-hmm. this movie's based in Charlestown if you guys didn't know and um, and Fergie's like you know what you're gonna do this for me I don't care what you say like you're gonna do this for me or I'm gonna come after you and then when uh, when Ben Affleck doesn't really give in he's like well I know you have a love interest and you know I don't want to have to like send you her funeral arrangements yeah. to your door but I will if I have to and so right there it's like in his mind he's like I'm gonna kill you maybe not right now yeah like no matter what this yeah. is that's the same and, and uh, later on when he mm-hmm. uh, he's the only one that survives the uh, the Fenway Park heist mm-hmm. he comes immediately back to the flower shop and he does what he says he's, yeah. he, he fucking kills the uh, <laughs> I like how the right hand man when he kills the you know the little bodyguard guy yeah. he's, he's like, like oh come, come here, here. Tell you something. boom yeah. point blank range yeah. fucking brutal goes to the back uh, kills Fergie you know yeah uh, he, that little line when he says he he they have a, a shootout and he you know comes out on the top and uh, he he shoots Fergie in the nuts and he's like remember who clipped your nuts for yeah you? oh and yeah, it just goes black that was good yeah and then um, to get into like some of the themes of this movie I like how this movie sort of I think that this might I, I don't know if there has been another um, uh, cop uh, or bank heist movie that that like its central theme is is like the theme of uh, generations and like how this and, and, and like how being a robber is sort of like a, a generational thing because like uh, there's that bit where uh, f- where uh, Fergie oh, has, yeah. has all four of them and he's like you know this reminds me of your guys' fathers you know and like you see that like there was no real escaping this sort of life from, mm-hmm. like, from like any of them you kind of grow you up know? into it yeah yeah you grow up into it and this is something that's passed down from father to son from father to son from father to son and there's that great um and uh, there's that quote at the beginning where the where the guy says I'm proud to be from Charleston it it ruled my life but I'm proud yeah and you can see how that quote directly ap- uh, applies to Ben Affleck yeah. because at the end his life is ruined. Yeah. You know so much so, yeah. th- so much so that he has to leave his hometown, mm-hmm. going to hiding, and he can never go back. And he can't get you know a real job or anything like that because the cops will come after him. You know, and you see that in 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 the movie, and you see how 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 this life n- not only affects you but the people around you, mm-hmm. and you know. And how like at like any moment you can drop at the dime of a hat, you know, and and I like that tie in too. Um, it's something that I don't think I've seen in, in a Bank Heist movie before. Would you say at the end? Uh, I don't know if they really tell you, but would you say that he went to to Florida? I think he did go to Florida. Yeah, I think that was that, that restaurant yeah. on the um, like his grandma's yeah, restaurant, yeah, or whatever. Grandma's Florida. restaurant oh, in okay, that, cool. Tangerine, Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he looked like, like very like, kind like, of like key, a Keys vibe. Or yeah, whatever, yeah, right? yeah. I like how he left the the tangerine, yeah, with uh, with the money to sort to kind of, of like yeah. this is where I'm going. going, yeah. Like remember what I talked about, yeah. And yeah. Uh, I like to think that she she ends up going, yeah, because uh, John Hamm's character gives that away later yeah. on when he says, "You know, we, we are, are a na- national, national, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. organization." So. <laughs> he knows he that yeah. that she told him. Uh, it kind of in code. Yeah. Do not come. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, in case he, he he was sitting across the street, so he saw that she was with the FBI the whole time. Yeah. But she tells him, you know, just in case, do not show up. Whatever you do, you know what I mean. Yeah. And that goes back to even like uh, him and his dad talking in mm-hmm. code about the. Uh, he's a, like, oh, I heard uh, a bread truck got knocked over or whatever. Yeah. They have like this little you know lingo set up, and uh, I like that they played into that at the, at the end too. Yeah. Very cool, but I think you uh, you got to get out of here soon, right? Yeah. Uh, we, would you like to keep going? Uh sure. For a little bit. Yeah, if you'll have me, I'll stay over. And... All right, James. Yes, it is time for me to head off. Um, duty calls, right? Yes, duty calls. You know, no one's uh, no one's gonna stock those shelves 
<laughs> um, but yeah, no, I had fun. It was nice meeting you. It's man. nice meeting you too. Yeah, I, I hope Holy you. Shit. I hope you. Um, this guy. I hope you come back yeah. every episode because this is oh, nice. Okay. It's <laughs> nice to have a episode. Because um, me, me and Wes, we you know we pretty much agree on a lot of the same uh, things. So it's I'll kind be of, the contrary. Yes, yes. You know, just having a third person. Yeah, always having a third right. person is always nice because yeah. it's it's more people talking. Yeah, more, more opinions of different different sure. uh, if varieties. You'll have, if you'll have me, I'll come on whenever you're. Uh, uh, whenever uh, you guys need me, I'll come. Yeah, nice, awesome. Well, I'll see you again, Wes. All right, uh, till, uh, I'll, I'll till next you. week. Yeah, see you, CJ. See you later. All right, man. Thanks, everybody. Uh, see you next time. All right. See you. All right. So we're back. James had to uh, take yeah. off a little early because yeah. of work, but I'm here with uh, our guest CJ. Still, I am still here. So let's uh, continue talking about the town a little bit. Yeah. Um, this also, the film also ties into some of the um, themes that run through Ben Affleck's uh, filmography. Okay. Namely, um, Gone Baby Gone, The Town, and uh, Live By Night. I don't yeah. know if you saw that or not. I did, I see. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, um, and like each of those, I think Live By Night is set in Boston. Yeah, it's in Boston. Um, and those three films tie into Boston and it's almost like it's focusing on like different aspects of Boston Mm -hmm. where like sort of the town is sort of the scum and the sort of ghetto of I mean uh, uh, Gone Baby Gone sorry is um, is uh, focuses on the the ghetto and the and the sort of like poor white trash if you um, uh, excuse the term um, of that, and then the town is sort of like the blue collar working class, and then live by night is the is the crime underground, and how um, uh, Ben Affleck's character in that sort of comes from the one percent um, end of that family, mm-hmm. and how he grew up as uh, the son of a cop, and he gets into the gang um, activity and stuff like that, and so it's interesting to see how those three facets of Boston play into his uh, filmography, you know. Yeah, and Live by Night is also a period piece, yeah, which yeah. is is interesting. And yeah. I felt like um, it gets uh, a word, you know, a kind of a bad rap. But I, I didn't, I didn't. Really it's not a, a terrible movie. No, I think it's a little bit a little rushed. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. There's a little thing like it kind of time jumps too too much. Yeah. Where you're like, oh, you could, you guys could have played a little bit longer yeah. into this, and yeah. then they just move situations real, really fast. And um, I think it also it tries to cover a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, because yeah. I read the book that it's based on, mm-hmm. and that it's a thick book, and you could probably make a TV show out of that book. And he tries to cram in so much into that two and f- two hours and forty minutes. I think is what that movie is, or something like that. And it and he tries to smush it all into that tight narrative, and it sort of falls apart. There's some interesting tidbits with um, um, uh, Elle Fanning's character. Mm-hmm. She has a great role, um, and, um, and there's sort of a theme in Ben Affleck's movies, or well, in his Boston movies, where he takes a pretty. Uh, female actresses and just dirties and grinds them up like he does that with Amy Ryan in Gone Baby Gone and she's this sort of washed out mother who goes out at night and is sort of careless about parenting hood and then you see like Lively and she's just dolled up you know washed out you know um, addicted to Oxycontin and cocaine and she's a single mom and it's terrible and then Elle Fanning is a former drug addict and which and like you can see the the uh, the marks of the heroin needles in her arms and stuff like that, and so like there's a a, um, a theme there, um, uh, or just a recurring thing that he likes uh, to do, and then he also likes to play around with characters who have to make like this sort of uh, uh, morally and uh, choice, you know, like how in God Baby Gone, Casey Affleck has has to make the choice on whether or not to give the kid um, to to the mom or leave it with Morgan Freeman Ben Affleck he's dealing with this with this moral decision that he made to get involved with the bank uh, manager played by Rebecca Hall and then live by night he, his character is, is the son of a cop who gets involved in the gang activity mostly because he's bored when he comes back from the war uh-huh. you know and so um, uh, there's a lot of similarities in like each of his films you know um, um, except for Argo um, I think um, but yeah well Argo is 
based on you know all of these films they have a sense uh, a sense of trueness to them yeah but I think they they are fiction and yeah. Argo is based on a true, true story. story yeah yeah, yeah so 